Today we're in the beautiful city of Hoi An, Vietnam. This is a magical town full of charm and beauty and today we're doing lantern making right over here. That's how we're starting off today. This is uh, a specialty right here in Hoi An. It's what the city is known for. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I think the kids are gonna have a blast over there. So let's go check it out. A spaceship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, spaceship. A spaceship. Yeah, it does look like a UFO. Yeah, UFO. Yeah. <laughs> you have all kinds of different shape, and uh, different shapes come with different complexity of building. So we got the garlic, which is probably one of the easier ones. Now, after you choose your shape, you choose your colors. You can choose up to four colors to cover your lantern, or you can just go with one single. The choice is up to you. Each individual color has a different meaning, so generally it's things like you want success in business. I believe that's yellow. Could be wrong. You want success in school and things like that. So all, all the colors have uh, different meanings, and you choose the ones that are most important to you. And on the bamboo, for whole surface, all everywhere, on the way down, and the bottom. Right? Okay. Four bamboo stick, four top, and four bottom. Put the glue on four slats and after that you're going to stick one of those lantern sheets on one of them. Alright, so first attempt is a fail. I have to take it off and apply again because it's too short. So you have to get this just perfect for it to work. And now sir, now you skip two bamboo sticks. I skip two bamboo. And you apply next four. Next four. One, two, three, four. Okay. okay. Thank you. So I just had to get a little bit of help, just a little bit, to finalize my first part of the uh, lantern making. I'm already done my second one. Next step, you cut the material along the line, but be careful not to cut the string. Massive fail, uh-oh. 
I cut a string, which you're not supposed to do. I didn't even know there was a string there. I don't know how that happened. Just when I was all excited that I was doing a good job cutting. Just blame it on the eyesight. I, I just got into a lot of uh, doo-doo by my teacher. Ooh. I got an F right here. But it's important to keep going. You never give up. Even if it all looks very glum and uh, very uh, dark, still keep going. I could pull it apart. Like that. So any tips and pointers? For someone that might not be very good at this, what would you suggest? Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just oh, I suggest if you're a woman, maybe like not wearing good pants like I am, because I'm getting glue on my pants, so I wasn't thinking about that before. So, other than that, I mean, it's not that difficult, honestly, Daniel. I think it's just you that has the trouble. So once you finish putting all the four sides onto your lantern, then you have to choose, there's like this little band that you put at the bottom to kind of hide the little wobbly, the little, you know, uneven ends, and also to make it prettier, and also the tassel. So you can choose the colors for your band, also for your tassel, before you finalize your lantern and it's ready to go. And so in the time that it took me to make one, how many did you make? Two. Yeah, so I lose. If this was a competition, I'd be dead last. I'd be like the turtle in the race. But you know the story about the turtle. You would be the rotten egg. St slow and steady wins in the long run. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Okay, be no. quiet. Whoa! Look at that, guys. All our lanterns are ready. Alright, so that was really fun. It was great to, to learn and, and to make the uh, you know the traditional Hoyan lanterns. What an experience. It was a blast honestly. If you are in this town, you gotta try it.